I'm the International Department Administrative Supervisor, and we are here for an interview. Peace. Hello everyone, my name is Tim Hines, and I'm the Administrative Supervisor in the International Department. I've been working at Lert Law now for 19 years. My name is Karen Taraba, and I have worked for Lert Law for about 10 years. Well, hello, my, my name is Mr. Joe, uh, and I've been working here at Lert Law for 10 years now. I'm the Activity su Supervisor here at Lert Law Cantana Pise. My name is Darius Kanadapets. I worked here at Lert Law School for just under 10 years. It's hard to believe that it's almost been 10 years working here. My name is Mr. Jacob Starkey. Uh, I have been working at Lert Law since 2014, so this was my uh, seventh school year. Uh, when I first started here, I started as a teacher in P456 teaching English, and then I also taught P1 and P3. After that, uh, I started helping with them uh, supervising uh, materials and things around the school, and I've been the administrator now for, I guess, probably around uh, 16 years. My duties at Alert Law are very diverse. No day is ever the same. Uh, normally my, my main job is to support teachers in the classroom. I do this by observations, whether formal or informal, and I really enjoy getting in the classroom, um, meeting with the teachers, seeing how they interact with the students, uh, and seeing their daily routines in the classroom. And I try to offer positive, constructive feedback to help them, help the students. Other than teaching, uh, some of my main responsibilities are uh, coordinating and supervising the activities that go on, whether it's the spelling bee, speech contest, April camps, uh, there's a lot of activities that we have here and it's my job to coordinate and uh, set up those activities. I have two parts to my job. The first is I teach phys ed. Uh, the second part is I'm the student development supervisor, so I work with the students of our school to try to develop them to be better people now and in the future. On a daily basis here at Lert La, I supervise all of our kindergarten teachers. In addition to that, I also teach K3 story time. I wanted to stay in the class as much as possible so that I could have that real connection with the students but I also want to be able to go to multiple classes to see this, the teachers. I help them with their planning, I help them with some creative ideas, uh, and sometimes that means behind the scenes work where I help create some of our materials that we use. Uh, other times that means being in the class and helping along there too. One of the things that impresses me at Learn Law is the development. Since I've been here for 19 years, I've been able to see uh, the school go from being very small, three or 400 students, and grow into being a well-known and prestige school in the area. Now we're running the 1,300 students, so there are, of course, there are a lot more teachers. When I first started, there was 11 teachers, and now we're up to around 45 or 50 at any given time. I'm impressed with the facilities we have here at the school. They're uh, state of the art. We have a brand new gymnasium. We have a climbing wall, swimming pool. We have an amazing steam room in kindergarten. We have cooking rooms and science room as well. Uh, my main goal here at Lert Lot is to pro provide the best education possible for our students. I want to improve myself, but I also want the students to be happy here, uh, to enjoy learning at Lert Lot School, and to make them good people. My main goal working at Lert Lot School has always been about making it the best that it can be, working with the best people. Uh, we are a family unit, we work hard uh, to improve from the curriculum to our interactions with the students, to the safety of the students. All these things are uh, in the hearts of our administrators and supervisors. So uh, the thing that makes it the best are things that I want to improve, of course, is to make sure that our education is number one. For me, one of the most important things when working at a school is student development. Whether that's in the classroom, uh, through the different activities, or talking to the kids in the hallways, 
Uh, a goal of mine is just to create students that are good students, they're smart students, and they are happy students. Uh, my goals for Alert Law are just continuous improvement. We never stay still, we never just stop doing something, uh, we never just take something that we did the year before and reuse it. We're always looking for a way to improve the school, to improve the teachers, to improve the students, to improve the activities, and we're always, always looking to improve. Um, if I get discouraged, I look at the, the big picture of the situation. I try to find my motivation through my, my co-workers and through new experiences. Uh, if I am feeling discouraged, what I like to do is take a step back, think of the bigger picture. I surround myself with lots of friends who have creative ideas. After that, what I'll do is I'll set a plan. It's always good to go to our director uh, and our other supervisors uh, and discuss things and just move forward with what needs to be done. The way that I approach problems and obstacles is a data-based decision making. I look at the, the big picture and how it can be solved effectively. So first of all, we have to find out what is the real source of the problem. I look at the problem and look at it from all different sides. After we find out what that problem is, uh, it's easier to solve. Now one thing to keep in mind is when you solve a problem, uh, it affects everyone around you and everyone that's involved in it. So sometimes this will uh, not always resolve in everyone being happy, but we try to be fair in everything that we do. Being a teacher is incredibly rewarding for me. To see my students learn new things and have that, that spark, that moment where they understand something is amazing. My job is rewarding in, in so many ways. Um, like I said, with the uh, reason that I love teaching, uh, that in itself makes my job rewarding. Um, seeing that development of the students when I teach them a new skill, for example, in the gymnasium, and I see that they master that skill. I do love my job, of course. I've been here for 10 years, and uh, I, I've seen so much growth in the programs that we have here, in the teachers that we have here, the quality of education that Alert Law has, and uh, I, I feel honored to, to be a part of that. Inspiring new teachers at our school is always something that is important to us as administrators and supervisors. I understand that there's a huge transition, especially for the international teachers that come from abroad. Sometimes there's homesickness. Uh, there's definitely ups and downs for the first little while, first few months. So we want to make them feel at home as much as possible. We want to cater to their needs as much as possible. So one of my jobs is actually to help them finding residents, uh, helping them with their work permits, visas, anything to bring that anxiety down because when you first make that transition, it's quite a big one, even though in the sight of the students and parents, it's just they're here, they're here to teach, and uh, we're thankful for that. Teaching is not an easy profession. There's going to be times that go well and times that don't go so well, lessons that go well, lessons that don't go well. Just sticking with it and learning from your colleagues, learning new things, talking to other teachers, observing new teachers, how they do things, and sharing ideas with them and they'll share ideas with you. That always helps the learning curve and to get better at, at any skill, especially teaching. So helping other teachers can come in a variety of ways, whether they need just an extra set of hands to do some painting project, or maybe they need someone to uh, just have that different perspective. Uh, I can go into a classroom and observe the lessons and see how they can change their ideas and their way of thinking to really meet all the students' needs and to create fun and engaging lessons every time. To give a word of advice to inspire young teachers or beginning teachers is uh, once you get those that first or second year under your belt, you will improve so much. You, you know, the first few years are just a, a learning curve. You're learning about techniques, classroom management, assessment, teaching strategies, and it just gets better and better every year. But my main goal for teachers is to build a connection with students, and that's going to help with classroom management. That's going to help with, with getting that instruction out to students. And it uh, means that you really care about the students, and they're going to want to learn from you, and they're going to want to come to school. 
and that again uh, helps in all the facets of teaching. The family here at Lert Law is, is really great. Um, we have a very nice community here at Lert Law School. Uh, people are always happy and that makes coming to work a very enjoyable thing. I really love the community we have at Lert Law. Now, of course, we all miss the days uh, when everyone could come inside the, the school and walk around and at the end of the day, you would see all the kids playing and students doing their homework with their parents. We look forward to that day again, but even, even as we have this distance, we're able to connect through our, our Google Classroom and different ways to, to keep up with each other. One of my favorite things about school is actually arriving in the morning and seeing our students show up. This COVID pandemic has made some days be a little depressing because we don't actually get to see their beautiful smiles and uh, good mornings to Mr. Tim or to our other teachers. Uh, it is kind of lonesome at times and we are very excited uh, about the announcement that the government will make when students can come back to school. Uh, one of the main reasons that I've stayed at Adler Law for so long is the family community that we have here. And it's not just with the teachers, it's with the students, it's with um, the parents. We have a family here and it's called the Alert Law Family. Given the circumstances with the pandemic right now, uh, we are super fortunate to have the opportunity, the different learning opportunity to learn through e-learning, which is different and something that is new for everyone, not only the students but also the teachers. E-learning wouldn't have been possible five, ten years ago. We have an amazing opportunity now to work in the moment but also at any time. I think we're at a time in our society, in our world, that's made this possible uh, that we can really expand our idea of what it means to work together. Internet, new technology, we're in a new era and uh, e-learning is something that is very important in our lives. Um, I'm very thankful that this technology is out now because in the face of a pandemic like we're facing now, it is very important to bridge the gap between our homes and our school. Uh, this gives us a great opportunity to use Google Classrooms. Google Classrooms is one of the uh, top platforms for education online. So Learn Lot School, as I go through there and I see our teachers have made uh, videos and our students are watching, uh, they're communicating with their teachers through uh, the messages inside of the uh, classroom. Well, a, lot of, a lot of teachers are new to uh, online learning or e-learning, uh, but in this day and age with the materials that we have, the availability, uh, the, the strength of the internet, quality cameras, all these techn technological advances has made e-learning just so much better uh, than it was in the past and so I think it's it's great. Uh, in this pandemic it is uh, very unfortunate and uh, what we've done is made videos for our students. Now of course uh, the teachers we would rather have the students in the classroom of course but uh, right now we're just dealing with what we have and we're, I feel very lucky that we have these platforms such as uh, Google Classroom some teachers use other programs uh, to make videos or to uh, ask students for, uh, for their assignments. But Google Classroom has become um, a very good tool for us and for uh, the students and parents. It's easy to use uh, and uh, to get that information out to students. I think the biggest thing that parents can do at home to help with the e-learning is to set up an environment, a nice place in the house where there's the least amount of disturbances. Create an environment that's conducive to learning. They're home, they're in their very comfort zone. So they're gonna want to do whatever, play with their dog, their cat, uh, watch TV. I understand this is a difficult time. I have my own kids at home too. And I want to encourage everyone to find as many chances as you can to build the self-discipline that it takes. Parents can support their children uh, with a positive attitude. If the parents are positive about uh, learning, then the, the children will be positive also. And uh, creating a, a nice workspace for the students, having the technology, the headphones if possible, uh, just a nice calm workspace where the students can work and listen. 
keep learning and keep trying your best. Trying your best is the most important thing that we can ask of you at school and also in the e-learning. Try to create a routine for yourself as much as possible. Find a space to work in and find the materials you need to set yourself up for success. To our students at home, I would like to say we miss you very much. We cannot wait to uh, jump around in the gym, be your PE teacher again for some of you. Uh, it's very, again, it's, it's lonely, so we are just as excited about you guys returning as I'm sure you are as, as returning to school as well. Students, please don't forget to log into Google Classroom and view the lessons that the teachers have worked so hard in preparing for for you for your learning. We miss you, we miss you in class, we miss your smiling faces and we really really want you to come back.